So hello there then, 7SY. Here I am. I'm Mrs. Palmer. Lovely to meet you. I'm just staring at a blank screen right at the moment. Um, yes, as it says there, Germany. German is my massive passion. Um, you'll be studying German and you'll be lucky enough to be stuck with me as a tutor and for your German lessons this year, which is something I'm very excited about. Um, yeah, so here I am. So yes, this is something for you to do. This is me, Cheat, and we'd love to know a little bit more about you, what you like, what you don't like. Um, you can print it off, fill it in, or if you'd rather, you can make your own version. One with a bit more colour, I think, would be great. Some pictures, pictures of your family, some lovely drawings. You could really, really make it as brilliant as you can make it. And then we'd love you to bring it back in on the first day that you come back. In this next section of the PowerPoint, you're going to find out a little bit more about our school, about Dormson School. So here's our leadership team. Um, right at the top, you've got Mr. Dixon, who's the head teacher. You've got Mr. Carroll and Mrs. Elliott, who are both deputy head teachers. And you've got Mr. Grundy, Mrs. Bassan, Mr. Amos and Mrs. Messcamp, who are all assistant head teachers. And here's our lovely seven house. These are the people that will be around to help you. So this, first of all, there's me, Mrs. Palmer, and there's Ms. Ward. She's our head of house. Mrs. Trotter, who's our deputy head of house. And then there's Mrs. Bassan and Mr. McLaughlin, who are year seven leads. We just call him Mr. Mac, much easier. And um, then they've got our student leadership team. Our head girl is Amberin Collins. Seven head boy, William Walker. Deputy head boy, Kian Hyde. And then finally, deputy head girl, Ebony Watson. So all of the information that we're giving you here and lots and lots more will be shared on the Dormson website so you and your parents are informed about everything that they need to know before you start with us. So this is something that will be very different from primary school for you, a timetable. So as you can see there, 8.40 you come to my room and um, then we just have five minutes together in the morning and you go off for your lessons one and two, both an hour each. We have 15 minute break. Then we have lessons three and four. Lunch is at one o'clock. Afternoon preparation is all of us together, 7SY together in my classroom. We'll look at lots of different things. Um, and then at two o'clock is lesson five and finish the day at three o'clock. What is different about Dormson is we have a two week timetable which means that there's different lessons on week one to what you have on week two. This will be on go for schools and when we get to school in September we will write it into your planner so you can start learning and getting used to that timetable. At Dormston we have something called prepared for success and we expect all of our pupils every single one to be prepared for success. This means that everyone has disruption free learning and can learn to the very best of their ability in every single one of their lessons. It's something that we're really, really quite proud of. You'll see these posters all around school in every single one of your classrooms. There'll be one of these prepared for success posters to remind you and to remind other people of how they should be behaving within lessons. So as you can see there, there's success for yourself, which is obviously the most important thing. It's what you want. It's what you're desiring to get, isn't it, success? You treat all staff and students with respect. You wear your uniform correctly and with pride and you put 100% effort into all that you do. Success around the school and in the community, walking calm and sensibly, no pushing or contact of any kind. Use the correct stairways around school. This will be particularly important um, when coming back in September. Not dropping litter and respecting the environment. And finally, success in lessons, being on time. Teachers will be there to meet and greet you. 
You're ready to learn with the correct equipment. Massively important, that one. Following instructions, listen when others are speaking, keep off task conversation for social times, work in silence when asked to, and at the end of every lesson, you wait until you are dismissed. I talked about equipment on the last slide, and it is so, so, so very important to come to every lesson equipped. One thing that us teachers really, really get knocked about when we have to stop what we're doing, stop other people's learning to lend out the equipment. So mobile phones, you're allowed to bring them into school, but they need to be taken to pupil reception before school. The essentials for equipment are a pen, pencil, ruler, rubber, sharpener, calculator, obviously your PE kit, um, and a reading book. And then when you get to school in September, you'll get your student planner, which will help you to um, remember when you've got homework, help you with your timetable. OK, and you'll record your homework in there, but it's also on go for schools. So once you've joined us, you'll be given your access codes to all of the online system information. Once you and your parents have logged on, you'll have an electronic access to your timetable, to your homework, behaviour records, your attendance, your target grades and lots and lots of other key information. Um, so there's really no escaping. There now. We know that joining somewhere new is always a little bit worrying. And there'll be lots of you coming in with special worries this year after not being in school for so, so very long. I know that my daughter, she's in year six going into year seven and, and she feels exactly the same. But what you need to remember is this. You can just ask someone for help, anyone. OK, be prepared for success. Remember what we talked about. Don't forget to be yourself. Don't try being other people. You can only ever be you. Try not to be so nervous. We're really OK. Be positive. My number one thing. Make sure that you remain positive at all times. Don't follow the crowd. Stand out from the crowd by being yourself. Show your talents. Don't hide away from your talents. Get out there and show people what you can do. Show that you're individual. Treat others as you want to be treated yourself. And most importantly, do the best you can. OK. So that's it from me. I'm very, very much looking forward to meeting you all in September, getting to know you and spending the next five years in your company. Um, I've just lost um, my year 11 form, 11SX, and they were absolutely wonderful. And I've no doubts that you will live up to our expectations just like they did for me. Looking forward to seeing you in September. Take care and make sure that you have lots of fun over the summer holidays. Bye.